yeah, this is the Polynesian Hotel in Wisconsin Dells. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, sir. Um, I I stayed at the I stayed at your hotel over uh, the Fourth of July time frame. Mm -hmm. um, July, you know, like J July Fourth of July. Well, I was it was like a little bit past Fourth of July, and mm -hmm. um, I paid my hundred dollar deposit, and then I paid the two hundred and some dollars for the room, and I never got the deposit back. So is there a reason? What is there a reason for that? Oh, my name is Deborah Davis. Deborah Davis, and I. Deb, I didn't make a reservation. I just checked in right, at, right, right as I was right that day. There was no reservation. I see. Well, if you stood at the hotel, even if you didn't have a pre-existing reservation, and you came as a walk-in, we would have to have made a reservation so that you can check in. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I walked in and I and I stayed at your hotel, and I got a you know bank charge to prove it. So my name is Deborah Davis. Okay. One moment, ma'am. Okay, so you're going to have to tell me why you didn't return my deposit. If I can pull up the reservation first and foremost, we can go from there. Okay, okay. well, you know, it says right on your website it's a $100 deposit, and I was told when I walked in that it was a $100 deposit and that I would get that right back, and I still haven't gotten that back. And, it, you know, and I've already, I've already called and left voicemails to your front desk, and you haven't returned my call. You said the last name was Davis, correct? Yes, I paid with a credit card, and I stayed there July 7th and 8th. And you're certain it wasn't made under a different last name? No, it was not. And I got the, you know, bank charges to prove it. Uh, can you, here, give me one second, let me find the search, because I'm not finding uh, anything under Davis. Well, that's really, that's really kind of um, negligence on your chart, you know, your part here, that you can't find me. And and then on top of it, you didn't return my deposit. So it's double negligence, and I'm recording this call. So I'm going to make sure everybody knows what how, how total negligent you are in that, in that community. Okay? So do you want to play games? Continue playing games? Why can't you find me? If I may speak? Um, well, uh, why can't you find me? You know, you said, you know, every anybody that walks in, you should be able to find my name. I paid $300 to your to your uh, establishment, so why can't you find me in the system? Well, I'm attempting to do so. Uh, okay, I'm re I am recording this, and I am, I am uploading this on YouTube for everybody to see. So, you know, your negligence is, is quite obvious at this point. Would you like for me to uh, attempt to assist you? Yes, that is the reason why I'm calling, and you're not doing so. Uh, can I please obtain the last four digits of the card in question since I'm unable to find it with the last name, please? 2134. Well, I mean, that's kind of, that's really negligent uh, right there that you can't even find me. And then on top of it, you don't return deposits, even though. You know, clearly I was told when you check in that this is a deposit and that you get it returned. And then it clearly says it right on your website, but then you, you do some kind of fraud thing where you just decide not to, to return the deposits. Is this some kind of joke? Or is this what you do to all of your customers? Because that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is this what you do to everybody? Because I'm recording this. And I'm going to make sure everybody knows not to go to your hotel. Okay, so I'm going to place you on a brief hold. I'll be back with you momentarily, okay, ma'am? Okay, yeah. This is all being recorded and on YouTube, okay? And, and I'm also going to call the police and the sheriff. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll be right back with you. Mm -hmm. Please hold. I don't mess around. This has happened to me multiple times with Navy Federal Credit Union. Uh, I, I'm sorry if this is hardcore, but you know, uh, you're dealing with military people here and this is a Navy Federal Credit Union is a is a military bank. It's for the DOD and the military people and you have to, you know, show proof that you're military to even be in the Navy Federal Credit Union and they've been playing all kinds of games with me lately um, and um, so I have, I have multiple frauds happening on my account. This has happened multiple times, 
where I have legitimate disputes and frauds and I, you know, it gets approved and then somebody ends up um, disputing my, my, my legitimate fraud and then taking my money illegally. So I've lost like hundreds of dollars this way now. And so now I'm getting hardcore. Okay, now I'm getting hardcore with the bank and with these and trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, I think this is happening to other veterans as well. They, um, years ago, they, they did, you know, all these, um, there was, there was scams going on targeting the military years ago. The, the military has been targeted for a long time. And, um, if you remember, there was these, um, scams were saying, you know, that you won, uh, some kind of lottery or some person that you're related to has left you money and we just need your, your, your bank information. Okay, a lot of military veterans and military full-time people got frauded this way. Uh, the CIA has been targeting the military for a long time. Okay, so a lot of military people who got targeted by this one scam where they said, you know, because they knew, we, they knew the military had a steady income. Um, you know, we have our, sometimes our VA money, sometimes our legitimate active duty money. So we are a target for fraud, okay? And, and it happens to us a lot, a lot more than what people realize. I, don't, I just, you know, I'm just a lot more bold in reporting it. Okay, so um, a lot of military uh, people were frauded by this scam years ago. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Okay, so I do have a reservation here under Deborah Davis. I mm -hmm. do apologize that I was initially unable to pull it up because it uh, appears that they had misspelled the last name when they initially made your reservation for check -in. How do you How do you misspell and Davis? You... I mean, it's D-A-V-I-S, really? How do you misspell that? That's well, right. I, I'm simply attempting to assist you, ma'am. Okay. Um, so just to confirm, you had stated that you were calling because you had placed a $100 deposit down. It was supposed to be reimbursed to mm -hmm. you on checkout, but you had yet to receive it, correct? No, I and, I and I called, and I left a couple messages, and nobody returned it, my call. And I also disputed it with my bank, and they said that, that you... Um, you, you denied my dispute. So did you deny my, so I've already, I've already called your front desk a couple times. Nobody returned my call. Then I disputed this with my bank and they said that your hotel disputed the hundred, the hundred dollar charge on top of it. So we got like a double third whammy going on here with your total fraudulent behavior. Why is the reason why you would uh, deny my hundred dollars? That's a purpose, well, you know. Ma'am, I'm, I'm unaware of this situation. Well, I've already been on the phone with my. I've already been on the phone with my bank. I've already been on the phone with my bank, and this is already being recorded. And you know, this is happening to other. Um, you have to understand that we are. You're dealing with the military, and we've been frauded. There's a. There, we're being targeted. The military is being targeted in this country, so this is not the first time I've been targeted. And so um, there's a whole criminal investigation about this matter, where the military are being targeted. So you're under a lot of, uh, you're, you're in a lot of trouble right now. Okay, so just so you know. I'm, I'm not aware of what you're speaking of. I'm simply attempting to assist you with the matter at hand. I do see a phone number on file of 651-767-2892. Is that yes. a good number to contact you back? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to have to speak with the general manager of the hotel regarding this situation. And who is that? And who is the general manager? His name is Alex. Okay. Uh, last name Gomez, G-O-M-E-Z. Okay. Um, I assure you that I will be personally called contact you, contacting you back by tomorrow afternoon. It is currently 9.29 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if I'd be able to get a hold of them this evening, but I certainly will get a hold of them by tomorrow morning, and I'll personally follow up with you by tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Uh, my shift starts at 1 p.m., uh, actually 2 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, so as soon as I get in, I'll definitely give you a call back so as to ascertain exactly what occurred there with the $100 that you had were supposed to have been Refunded. Well, I mean, isn't this this is a, isn't this a standard deposit? This is a standard deposit. It says on your website it's a standard deposit that you get returned. So why would be the reason why I didn't get a return? I, I, I don't I don't work with like the finances in that regard.
regard as to why something of that but, nature may not have uh, been why, isn't this, But there. do do you normally do the check-ins and then you take the normal deposit and then you always say that gets returned, right? And it's a standard the, hotel. The is, yeah, the way it goes is the deposit is held mm -hmm. and then released upon checkout. Mm -hmm. So it's not where like a front desk agent needs to even do anything to release it. It's simply the released on its own accord. It wasn't. So why you didn't receive it wasn't released on its own accord, and that's the problem I'm having. It wasn't released. I, I understand, but I, okay. I'm, I'm going to assist you with getting this rectified. I just got to get confirmation from my general manager to see exactly what occurred there, and I will be contacting you back uh, in less than 24 hours. I'm not going to because Because I've already back talked to my call. bank. I'll call back tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. But I've already talked to my bank, and they said, and they, they I disputed it. And then they returned it, and the, and I said, what was the reason why you why you took the money back? And they said that you denied it. They said that you your your hotel um, denied the charge, saying that I, I you know. And so if you don't have a police report or some kind of evidence that something was wrong with the hotel room, you are, are you are frauding me out of that money. And I'm recording this this conversation, and I'm gonna make sure you get charged with negligent fraud. Do you understand? Okay. So you better you better rectify this. I, I'm gonna try to do so to the best of my capacity. Because this, you know, this is not, you know, this is not a joke here. This is not a joke here. You know, you're dealing with the military personnel, and we've been frauded like crazy. We're being targeted like crazy, and there's this is a criminal matter at this point. Okay. So I don't know what is going on here. I don't know if the Navy Federal Credit Union is playing games or you're in cahoots or what, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this, and I am recording this, and I'm also going to get the police and, and the sheriff involved. Okay? So thank you. I am. Yes, Yeah. Okay, well, because we're not playing games here. This is not some kind of joke where you think that everybody can just, you know, take money from the veterans like we have all this money to spare. We've been um, targeted. Uh, by every every organization you could possibly imagine, uh, we, you know they're killing veterans. They're murdering us. Okay, and on top of it, our, again, they're trying to take our money. A bunch of my friends have already been murdered. Okay, this is not a joke. We're this is a targeted um, thing going on against military and veterans, and I'm one of them. And I'm being targeted, and I don't appreciate it. And it's a criminal matter, and it will be held according accordingly like a criminal matter it okay so you better have a reason why you didn't return that okay otherwise you're under in criminal investigation right now i'm reporting this right now okay and you'll be under in criminal investigation by tomorrow thank you